see you this week. everyone welcome to today's video so today I'm in my sewing room obviously and I've got this amazing quilted jersey knit fabric I think I'm going to make myself a nail dress but I'm going to tweak the nail dress and maybe do something slightly different with it so I thought I'd take you along with me Hi there everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm working with this gorgeous quilted knit fabric. I've got three meters and I'm thinking it's gonna make a really nice, cozy winter, spring dress. I feel like I wanna have a go at making another Nell dress, but have a few tweaks to it. Add the long sleeves, add the free turtleneck pattern that I created for you all and maybe elongate the bodice and then possibly do something different with the bottom skirt tier. So basically completely change the whole Nell t-shirt dress. So I thought by doing that I'm going to share it with you and then if you've also got the Nell t-shirt sewing pattern then it might give you a little bit of inspiration where you too can have a go at chopping and changing, hack it a little bit because that's what patterns are for aren't they? And I thought if you've also got the Nell t-shirt dress hopefully this will inspire you to have a go at uh, being a bit more confident and changing things up a little bit too like I'm going to do today hopefully. So let's head on over to the cutting table and let's see where it takes us. Let's see what we can do with this gorgeous fabric. It's really good quality, I really like it, it's quite thick and it's kind of got like a, um, well obviously it must be two layers because it's quilted so it's not like your regular jersey where it's just like one layer of fabric. It does have this, yeah, definitely two layers. So this, I can pinch two layers of fabric. So it's going to be super, super cosy as well. And I think it's going to make a really nice, really nice cosy dress. Like I've got three meters. It's got quite a bit of weight to it, but it's also quite springy. So I think it's going to be quite nice to wear, nice and comfortable. Now this is from Minerva and there, there are some amazing colours in this range. I'll put the link for Minerva in the box below so you can go over and have a browse. Some beautiful colours. But I chose this because, like I said, it's in my colour wheel and I think it's quite a nice autumn, winter and spring colour. I haven't got anything this colour in my wardrobe so I thought it would be a good addition. So let's just see where it takes us. So I need to get my nail my nail t-shirt dress pattern out. I need to get the to get the autumn winter expansion pack out and also the turtleneck because I'm like I say I'm gonna add the turtleneck to the neck and I fancy making because the cuffs are quite deep as it is but I fancy making them slightly deeper so I might have to adjust them slightly because obviously it's got to go up your arm because your obviously your arm gets wider quite stretchy so it should be okay. Feel like I want to lower the bodice because the bodice on the nail t-shirt is well, it look fairly high but I think I might lower it down a little bit so it sits more on the waist to get maybe a different look really long one tier skirt so we shall see I'm just going to go with how I feel and see wherever it takes me but okay so I've got my spring summer autumn winter all the pieces are in here So I think we're going to extend it by about 16, 17 centimetres.
I've got everything cut out except the skirt tier now. I think the more I'm looking at the fabric, I think I'm just going to have the one skirt, one skirt piece, no ruffles. I know, um, I know, I can do it. Hopefully the sleeves will be, and the cow and the turtleneck will be the statement look that I'm looking for and nothing else to get in the way. I don't know, but I, I'm fancying just the one skirt, the one tier for the skirt. So I've measured on the mannequin to about 30 inches. So I'm just going to use the shapes on the fabric to cut it out again so everything's nice and straight. But obviously I'm not, I'm going to cut it singly. What would a pocket be like? It's quite thick. So that extra bulk. And I don't want to wear the dress down. I'm not going to put pockets in. Omit the pockets. I know, shock horror. And if I find that I need pockets, I can always add them in later. Seriously? Jody, I'm trying to be a high flying fashion designer. I don't think I'm going to cut the mustard. I think it's going to look nice. So I won't be making a top with that. So that was lucky. Right, so I've got my two skirt pieces. I don't know whether I'll need them this wide. It might be a little bit too voluminous. We shall see. But everything's cut out now. So next, cup of coffee, thread my machines with some matching thread and then get this stitched up. Right, so I'm just going to pop, pop the bodice part on the mannequin 
and then pin the skirt and see what it looks like because the skirt that being 60 inches wide and I've cut two of them is quite a lot of skirt and see what it looks like and if it looks too much then I'll chop I'll take some off the sides I'm glad I didn't put pockets in so we'll do that So I've got plenty of length for the hem and yeah it's at maximum gather I've gathered it to the maximum and it fits just right so I guess now is to sew it on see what we look like see what it looks like all I've got to do is obviously sew the skirt onto this now and then I'm going to cover stitch the hem and then I'm going to finish off with cover stitch on there and then try it on and see what it looks like. So hopefully I'll get it done. The light is fading fast, so I'm not sure I'll get it done for me to take pictures of me today outside. But if not, I'll take pictures tomorrow and a little video of me twirling about as I do and see what we all think. But yeah, I really like the fabric. I like the cowl, the higher cowl. I quite like the longer cuffs. And then we'll see what this looks like stitched on. So we'll keep going. Okay, I've just tried it on, it's not finished, but I really do like it. I think it's got a touch of 1980s Laura Ashley vibe because it sits on the hips and it's still got the thread in and everything. So I've just been outside to have a look in the, in the mirror that's in the summer house. Really do like it, so I can't wait to finish it and show you properly tomorrow. She's finished. I really do like how it's turned out. So obviously it's dark outside now, all finished. I've cover stitched round the neck. I've cover stitched the hem. I'll try it on tomorrow and show you what it looks like on me properly. Definitely 1980s Laura Ashley vibes going on with it sitting lower than the waist on the hips. But I really do like it. I'm glad I didn't put pockets in. Doesn't need pockets. It's not the style for pockets. Love the deeper uh, turtleneck. Love the deeper cuffs. Love the fabric. Love the colour. Love it all. Do you think I like it? I do. Seriously do like it. So, I thought I'd just come on quickly before I go. What do you think? 
when I was doing, when I was putting it on, I was thinking, hmm, I'm not sure. I think it's a little bit too Laura Ashley 1980s vibe because the skirt is coming almost at the hips. But yeah, I really do like it. I just think it's a completely different look. And I've added my belt, and I think that my belt literally brings a whole new dimension to the dress. I love the cuffs, I love the turtleneck. Yeah, I just love the whole, I just love the whole look and it's super cozy, so warm and snuggly. It's quite, it's quite a heavy dress when you lift it up. It's gonna be a nightmare to wash, I'm sure, because it's gonna be so heavy. But when it's on, it's not heavy, it's lovely, it's cozy and it's snug and I really do like it and I love the colour. One of the colours in my colour palette as well, so it's really good, so it really enhances my skin tone. Yeah, I just totally love it, totally love it. So let me know what you think. It just shows, have a little bit of a play. Who knows what you're going to come up with. Just having fun, trying to figure it out in the process and that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, so let me know what you all think and leave me your comments in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos too. That really helps my channel to grow and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.